If you guys collect vintage Star Wars toys, then you know how good it feels to finally complete a piece in your collection. And today, I get to do just that. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Today is a very extra special day for me on the channel. This is my 200th episode. That's right guys, this is my 200th video upload. I cannot believe it. It's been a long journey. Thanks to you guys for sticking with me all this time and for any of you new subscribers out there, look forward to a lot of great future Star Wars content. Today, especially, I wanted to do this video with you guys. This is kind of a full circle thing, if you will. Um, the very first video, if you guys remember, I unboxed a 12-inch Boba Fett action figure from Kenner. This was my very first unboxing. It was my very first video. And if you guys haven't seen those videos of the Boba Fett series, please check them out. It was a series that I started um, like I said, the very first video of this channel was an unboxing of Boba Fett, and it was a naked Boba Fett. I didn't have all the pieces that I needed for Boba Fett. I had to hunt them down, and over the course, uh, the journey, uh, the, over the course of this, this channel's journey, I was picking up pieces here and there, and I finally, finally today got the last piece that I needed. Super jazzed about this. Thought I would do this unboxing in person, um, on camera. If you guys know uh, how my unboxings typically go, uh, the format's a little different. But today I thought we'd bring it back to the very first video, full circle and that kind of style, that format. This is my 12 inch Boba Fett. This was the guy that I got, um, the very first figure, the very first toy I unboxed on the channel. I'm um, sorry if I'm a broken record, guys. I'm super excited about this moment because, as I've been saying, the Fetster here has been, uh, you know, it, it, he's been on a long journey to be complete. Um, when I first got Boba Fett, he didn't have the the infamous rocket tip. He didn't have the cape. Um, and I know some people hang the cape differently, but I like to hang my cape like this. And my Fett didn't... Oh, my set didn't have his uh, his blaster either, so um, it's kind of just been a long, a long time coming to get all the pieces for him, and I never forgot about it. Um, I just, you know, the piece that I needed was, uh, you know, it's the rarest piece um, for Boba Fett, and so I have had trouble finding one. You know, I, I've seen a couple. But the, uh, the quality was never really up to, you know, to, to my liking or the price of this piece was stupidly high. And I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to pay that. And as I tell you guys, don't, you know, if you can help it, don't overpay for Kenner. Wait for a good deal. And as it turns out, a fellow collector um, in the community... If you guys know Boba Fett's blaster is a little finicky with the way its arm is bent and just for the sake of this, for time constraints, I will uh, just sling. If you guys can see that, there's a little loop for the blaster. Sometimes getting, his, getting it in his hand um, can be interesting. And a note on the hand, sometimes they break. So I'm being, trying to be very gentle with this. So for, for the purposes of moving things along, I'm just gonna shoulder his blaster, so to speak. Um, but as I was saying, you know, these, these pieces, I needed to pick them up. It was a long journey to get them all. And the, and the last piece I needed was, uh, the hardest piece I'd say to get in good condition, complete original and for a great price. And luckily another collector in this uh, community who actually has a YouTube channel, it's called plastic recollections. Give Brent over at plastic recollections, a follow. A new channel on the Star Wars. Well, he doesn't just cover Star Wars. He covers a lot of different vintage toy lines. Um, so give him a follow. But Brent over at Plastic Recollections had a Wookiee braid for me. He had a uh, the last the last hurrah. He had the last piece, and uh, 
Well, we did a little wheeling and dealing and I now have the braids. So thanks to Brent. I am 100% now with Boba Fett here. I'm super freaking jazz, guys. Um, this has just been, you know, when I started this channel, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Quite honest with you, I'm still not sure I know what the hell I'm doing. Um, but it's been a heck of a lot of fun. And you guys have made it that much more fun by following along on this journey. And gosh, I'm... I'm I'm just so stoked like I've got I've got the last the last uh, piece here and this is a raw raw unboxing some of you guys wonder why I don't do the unboxings on camera um, well no particular reason but like I said I thought today this would be fun to uh, to do this thing on camera with you guys getting too excited ruining my gloves <laughs> Oh man, this is awesome. I'm so, st oh man. I can't believe this is the final piece, guys. The final piece. This is awesome. I cannot believe this. And there they are guys these are the Wookiee braids the last the last hurrah the last thing I needed so strange to finally have these things um, <laughs> this is this is a trip guys this is a trip these little beauties right here are rare you'll find these on eBay they go for a stupid amount of money and I just didn't want to pay that kind of price and luckily luckily I've got them and I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg the fetster here finally can be complete and of course if you guys know the little loop here you just kind of slip this on over his shoulder like so Jesus I feel like a little kid right now guys I'm not gonna lie this is very I'm feeling very childlike doing this like assembling this toy this is the final piece guys i'm kind of shitting bricks over here like it's finally finally complete boba's finally getting the last piece to call him 100 percent all right guys let's try to get this dang blaster back in his in his hand the right way again it's just it's kind of wanky i don't like screwing with some of this kenner stuff for the simple reason that it can break so you gotta be very delicate, very gentle. And a little bit of patience with anything with this Kenner stuff, you gotta have patience. I feel like when you start to lose patience with this stuff is when accidents happen. So you gotta be very gentle. But as you guys can see, there's my Boba Fett. Finally, he's got the braids finally complete I can't believe it um, like I said this is a, a long time coming to get all the pieces like I said I had to get the, the rocket tip had to get the cape the gun and at long last the Wookiee braids this is awesome big shout out to Brent over at Plastic Recollections man thank you so much for um, you know working this little deal out with me and um, this is just this is just awesome. Finally, get to complete something that I've started a couple years ago. My 12-inch Boba Fett is finally complete, guys. I'm super stoked. This feels so dang good. The journey is finally over. I mean, the journey is the journey is never really over in this collecting game. You're always adding and changing things and upgrading and whatnot. Um, but I could say. With this, but with this figure, with this particular toy, this journey is over. The only thing that would be left would be to get the box. I'm not really much of a box collector because it eats up a lot of room. I like to display my collection loose, as you guys know. But here he is, my 12-inch Boba Fett, my hobo-looking glove. <laughs> I've been doing this so long, I've never had a glove break like this uh, during an unboxing. So that's hilarious. Um, but uh, I just want to jump on here and do this extremely raw video with you guys. 
mirroring the first video of this channel. This is the special 200th video. I still can't believe it's been 200 videos, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Follow me along on this journey. And if you're not subscribed, blast that subscribe button. Get into it. Um, I do new releases every Saturday morning. All vintage, all Kenner. Love talking about Star Wars toys with you guys. Love sharing my acquisitions, my completions. This is the only toy I really completed on the channel. It's the only toy that I really needed to complete since I started this channel. Picked up a, a few pieces, but they were, you know, I hunted down pieces that were 100% complete. This was the one exception. This was perhaps the only piece, not the only piece, but uh, a prominent piece that wasn't complete that I've had to complete in its own journey. And today that journey is complete. Man, he looks awesome with these braids. I just cannot believe it. This, this is awesome. Boba Fett is finally complete. Ah, this is a hard one, guys. This is a hard one. I mean, the 12-inch line is a fun line to collect. Um, and getting all these pieces for the 12-inch figures sometimes is more difficult than getting accessories for the 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. It's just the way it runs. Um, so this is, this is awesome. This is extra special. Can't believe it. Finally, I can put him in the case and he's hundred percent feels really good. It's a little surreal to have this moment. You know, you're, you're chasing down something for an, an insane amount of time. And then this happens, you finally get it. And then what do you do? You know, how do, how do you feel? I don't know. It feels awesome. This feels great. It feels strange. Boba Fett, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you so much again to Plastic Rec Collections for hooking me up with these braids. appreciate you doing this, this deal with me to get this. I traded something that uh, he needed, and, well, I got these braids. So thank you so much, Brent. I appreciate you, brother. Guys, thank you again for sticking with me, watching my, all my videos. And if you've watched all the Boba Fett videos, then you know how special this one is for me. Thank you again. Hope you guys enjoy this content. If you did, please share it. Spread it with your, your neighbors, your, your family, your friends, anybody that you know that's into Star Wars, that likes vintage toys. Let them know about all this stuff. Let them know about the channel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. You guys don't know how awesome it is to make content and interact with you guys. So I do appreciate each and every one of you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please give the old like button a thumbs up to support the channel. And if you've not already done so, blast that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.